the assist category. Those are the numbers for you. Oak Hill will have the basketball starters back for both ball clubs. Moses, Meese, Kuhlman, Hicks, Pickering for Oak Hill. Freeman, Anderson, Ferris, Jones, and Stratman. The lob inside to Pickering. She throws it up off the heel. Ferris is uh, bumped. A little bit of a steal picks up, as you point out. A cheap foul. Pickering's just a junior, by the way. Ferris has it, top of the circle. She wants to drive. Create. Goes to Stratman, who missed. Put it on the deck and do what she do what she can do. The kick of the corner. Jones open for three. Short off the iron. Ferris with a rebound and the finish. Well, and that's, you know she's going to come out of the locker room and, and get herself into this basketball game. Gives Heritage Christian the one-point advantage. And if you're Oak Hill, you, you really got to stem this. I mean, I know it's only the first possession of each side, but you can feel momentum. You can feel a surge on the part of Heritage Christian. And the paint, nice oh, move by Courtney Moses flashing through, and she's in double figures with 10. I don't know how it got there, but what a great finish. Jones strong drive, lost the handle, picked off by Moses. Ferris couldn't go after her because of the foul trouble. Freeman couldn't either, and Mesa scored back to or Moses has scored back to back buckets. But I'm just saying, you could feel it. You could feel the great, again, this transition, but you feel this a, as a different, uh, more energized Heritage Christian team, and Courtney Moses single handedly meeting that energy with that uh, couple of basket flurry for her. Anderson answers with a layup of her own. Now Oak Hill has it back the other way. We tried to set a little double screen on the base line for Courtney Moses. Now they'll just back it out and uh, Lauren Meese will get it set. They'll continue to attack the matchup. 32-31. Oak Hill by a point. Driving Meese. Running left-hander off the glass. No. Kelly Ferris with a rebound. Dribbles it in transition. Spins away from the traffic. Comes to Claire Freeman. Freeman stops. Throws it out high and it's going to be a turnover. Third quarter. Again, if you're okay on them, Mark, just be patient. Run your half-court offense. Be patient. Work off some screens to work off the pass from uh, from Courtney Moses to work off the pass from Lauren Meese. And a little too quick. Didn't put the ball on the floor. You have Moses matched up with Ferris. Anderson with a drive. Gets shut off. Great defense by Kristen Hicks. Maddie Anderson goes to Kelly Ferris. Five and a half to play in the quarter. Anderson sees some room on the baseline. Skips it over to Stratman. Now to Freeman. Flashing through from six. Rolls around no. Rebound pulled away by Kristen Hicks. Back to that one and done that they had done in the first half. Meese. The kick to Moses. She'll drive. Throw it. Pickering. Even though the foul goes against Heritage Christian. Had a, they had the angle on it. Pickering, <laughs> 14 now for her, the 6'4 junior. Her club leads by two at the five-minute mark, 33-31. Casey Jones flashing through Ferris, tries to step through and gets bumped. They got her on the floor. Nice curl cut in the lane. Little screen, ball to top, the, literally at the elbow. Good curl cut. Third foul on Lauren Meese. Yeah, they close it up, and, and Meese does right her with the hip. Deep lob into Maddie, Casey Jones, and zone the corner to the Claire end. Freeman. 2-3 zone on the inbound by Oak Hill. Pass to Ferris. She'll fight. She Ashley knows. Pickering picks up her third. She knows and her teammates know. Ferris starts to drive, throws it away. Into the hands of Moses. Maddie Anderson chasing her down, but she finishes anyway. 14 for Courtney Moses. Let me tell you what, she's the best player on the court right Ferris now. Ferris in transition, throws it up. No. Courtney crazy. Moses with the rebound. Crosses okay. over. Runs it ahead. She's doing Lauren everything. Meese. Meese down low. All by oh, her lonesome was oh, Coolman, oh, and she short armed it. Un just had it, didn't knock it down. 35-31, four-point lead for Oak Hill. You keep waiting for the Heritage Christian run, and it doesn't come. Well, Oak Hill doesn't let them. That's the big thing. They just don't let them. They've done a great job defensively at the half court. Ferris right wing. Freeman posted up. Tried to look for Jones down low, and it was Ferris you can put down on the post. It's a pretty good move. Jones crosses over on the dribble, comes to Anderson. Back to Jones now. They'll go to Claire. Claire pulls up from the right elbow, throws it up long, weak side rebound to Marissa Kuhlman. Kuhlman in transition to Moses. Moses over to Meese. Meese shut off by Claire Freeman, almost a foul. Good move just to buy some time, get a little, little better approach to the half-court offense. A little back screen by Meese for Pickering. Ashley Pickering and a great finish. 16 for Pickering now. 37-31. The lead six for Oak Hill. Freeman 
to Ferris, top of the circle. Kelly wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. She'll duck the shoulder, the kick to Maddie Anderson. Across to Claire Freeman. Freeman looks at Ferris, posts it up. Ball knocked away. She'll gather it back in. Throw it in the corner to Emily Anderson. And a timeout by Rick Reisinger. By the way, Fort Wayne Canterbury, a repeat champion in the 1A game. They beat Reve 72-66 in overtime. Great ball game. Heritage Christian has the basketball. Three minutes to go in period three. They trail by six. Maddie Anderson tracks it down. Baseline right. Claire Freeman to Casey Jones. Back to Freeman. Well, Oak Hill, Jones yeah. playing pitch and catch. Oak Hill 2-3 out on the out of bounds, and they're staying in it. Freeman's three. Oh, that's a brick. But there to clean it up is Liz Stratman. Wow. Four for Stratman. One of the few second chance opportunities that Heritage Christian has had, Mark. And that one literally slams off the glass into Liz Stratman's hands. 37-34. Moses trying to dial up the offense. Makes a short lob to Pickering. Pickering throws it into it. Just the sixth turnover on Oak Hill. As Emily Anderson returns for Heritage Christian. Well, I like this. I mean, Oak Hill is gone and staying in the zone right now. Jones thought about the three. She missed badly on her last attempt and probably doesn't have a lot of confidence in that shot right now. You probably, if you're going to win this ball game, you're probably going to lock up and go back man to man when you need to. But buy yourself some time. Give them a different look. Give them something different to think about offensively. Down to two to play in the quarter. But you need to make sure you find Ferris. Nice look down low to Stratman. She missed it. Gets her own rebound. Lays it up and in. I was going to say find Kelly Ferris, but she made a great flash cut. Delivered baseline to Liz Stratman. It's a big basket. Cuts it back to two, Mark. Minute 50 to play in the quarter. 37-35. O'Kill with the lead and the basketball. Baseline right. Moses flashing through his knees. Picked off by Kelly Ferris. Ferris wants to drive on Hicks. Kicks it to Freeman. Freeman can't get it to fall. You can see it's just Ferris uh, playing with three. Anderson good on both free throw attempts. Heritage Christian has tied it up 37-37 with a minute 31 to play in the third quarter. Almost picked off. Pickering with a basketball in the corner for Oak Hill. Gives it right back to Courtney Moses. Work your offense. Take your time. And again, work inside out. Work inside out. Watch Pickering again running the baseline. She sets a little screen for Moses. Moses drives, uses that screen for Pickering, throws it up. So Kuhlman were on the block. She was good on her only other attempt from the free throw line today. Yeah, this is strong, strong looking free throw. 16 now for Moses. Two point lead for Oak Hill with a minute to play in the quarter, 39 37. Freeman. Ferris wants the lob, a lot of pushing and shoving, Moses inside, Ferris lowers the shoulder. If they're going against zone, you have certain sets, certain things you want to run. I think the other thing about it is it gives you an opportunity to maximize the possession. Ferris good on one of two, one point lead for Oak Hill at 39-38. Across the timeline, Courtney Moses going to slow it up just a little bit. Now their focus will change a bit with Pickering not able to run the baseline and create. Well, you're going to see this. I mean, they're still going to they're going to continue to attack. Right now, they're going to back out. Obviously, hold it for the last second shot of this half. It's man to man now by Heritage Christian to end the quarter. Lauren Meese, Claire Freeman on her, shut off, gets rid of it to Courtney Moses. Now they'll back off a bit. Heritage Christian will down to 13 on the clock. Moses. Now they've gone back zone mark. They're going to match back up for this last 10 seconds. Lauren Meese, five seconds left. Claire Freeman on her. Runs it, dumps it, baseline. Kristen Hicks, shot is blocked. We have played three quarters of basketball. The 2A championship has been a dandy.